What's up, big dog? This is Coach Roll from Five Star Lineman Academy, and we're in a lab with another big dog quick tip. Today's quick tip is about the benefits of a balanced stance. Okay, so problem problem is is that when we're playing an even technique, and as you recall, when we're playing an even technique, it means that we're head up in front of the offensive lineman. That could be a zero technique, which is head up in front of the center. It could be a two technique, which is head up in front of the guard. It could be a four technique, which is head up in front of the tackle. But the issue is, is that sometimes when we're head up in front of these guys, when we're playing an even technique, we still have a stagger, right? So most of the time, most of the time, when you're in an even technique, it means that you are two gapping, most of the time. There are times, right, within a defensive scheme, where the defense calls for you to line up head up and then attack a gap. Now, I'm not talking about that. When you're lined up head up and you have to attack a gap, then your stance has to match your strike. So depending on where you're attacking, you'll line up according to your attack point. So I'm not referring to that. What I'm specifically referring to is in, when you're in an even technique and you are two gapping, right? Where you wanna punch that guy, you wanna now read and react, which is your style of play in this case, you want to get good knockback and read and react. You want to get good knockback and read and react. That requires a different stance, okay? So, for example, this is what I often see when a diva's alignment is playing an even technique with a staggered stance. Example, let's say this is a guard and I'm a defensive tackle. Here we go. My job is the two gap, but I'm going to have my inside hand down. Here, the, the problem with that stance is that we always step to the hand. Whatever hand is down is where you actually step. So I want you to see exactly what's gonna happen when I get into my right hand stance or my inside hand down. Watch what happens where I step. Here, okay. Now, me stepping with my right leg is good if he's coming at me or if he's working inside. If this guard in this example is working inside, then I'm gonna be stepping to the man. It's perfect. So if this guard is working here, boom, I'm gonna end up stepping right to that guard. But here's the challenge. The challenge is what if this guard works this way? What if he's trying to reach me or seal me and the play is on a B to C hit, B to C hit which means that play is hitting here or in that gap. What if it's going that way? Well, where am I gonna step? I'm gonna step either here or here because this right leg is stepping. That's not what I want if the play is going to my left. So I'm stepping to my hand, boom, this guy's working here. I just lost leverage to the gap. Now I lost leverage to the gap. I do not have gap leverage. What I mean by gap leverage is that if the ball is coming here and I'm over here, though I was lined up head up, I lost gap leverage. How can I maintain gap leverage? Well, if the ball is going here and this lineman is going here, I need to be here playing nose to nose football and then I'm going to rip in my gap because that's where the ball's going. I'm too gapping. Now, what causes a D lineman to lose gap leverage? His stance. If you're in the wrong stance, sometimes you're gonna take the wrong step, which leads to the wrong strike. I'm gonna say that one more time. If you're in the wrong stance, it's gonna lead to the wrong step, and it's gonna result in the wrong strike. That's what's happening right now. This guard is working this way. What stance do I have? I'm in a stagger stance with my right hand down. Which way am I gonna step? I'm gonna step to my hand. And how am I gonna get a good strike if I stepped in the wrong direction? That's the problem. So let's say we switch it, okay? I'm head up, I'm playing an even technique. I'm gonna get, my, get in my left hand stance now, all right? So I put my left hand down. Where am I gonna step? I'm gonna step right here. If you look at the last quick tip, the last quick tip talked about having a great stance, but a bad start, right? Wanna make sure we have a great stance 
and an even better start. A good stance is supposed to lead, should lead to a great start. So I got my left hand down. Where am I gonna step? I'm gonna step to my hand. Boom! Now this is perfect if he's coming at me. This is good if he's going here. Okay, the problem is, is if he's working inside. If they're running some kind of zone, okay, left zone, and I'm stepping here, guess what I just lost, big dog? You just lost gap leverage. Ball's going inside, I'm stepping right here. Now, I'm playing catch up. Okay, who's to say he does not cut me off and that zone stretches and cuts back here because I was in the wrong stance, took the wrong step, had a bad strike, right? So, point is this. When you're playing head up, when you're playing an even technique, and if you are two gapping, only if you're two gapping, I recommend, quick tip is this, get into a balanced stance, get into a balanced stance. Now all my big dogs, you guys know, right, that your back foot moves first. When you're in your stance, your back foot it's always gonna be the first step to move because your address, your location is right here. That back foot identifies where you are located. Well, I, I'm here. I'm not there no more. I'm not where I was. I just relocated because I moved my back foot. I moved my front foot. I might have gained some ground, but guess why I still am? So we know the back foot has to move first. And that's the issue being in an even tech and two gapping. So a balanced stance. What is a balanced stance? A balanced stance is me really having two back feet. By me having two back feet, either one of these feet can move. I can move either foot. Whichever one I want to move, I can move it. So if I'm in a balanced stance here and I have my hand down, if I need to step right, I can step right. If I need to step left, I can step left. I can go in any direction that I want because I'm in that balanced stance. Watch. So, same example. I'm head up in front of this guard. Okay, I'm playing a two technique, right? Playing two technique. Even, all evens is head up. All even numbers, zero, two, four, six. That's even. And now, my coach told me to two gap. I'm head up. If this guard goes this way, guess what I can do? I can step that way. I'm still heel toe ratio. I still got power. Okay, I'm good. If that guard comes at me, I'm good. I can shock and shed. I'm still good. I have my feet underneath me, doing a good job. If that guard goes this way, guess what I can do? If he goes this way, I can step with that leg. He goes that way, I can step with that leg. Boom, right here, okay? So the benefit is that when I'm in a balanced stance, I'm balanced. I'm not stepping, I'm not just stepping with my back foot, right? That's gonna limit me here, here, or here, right? That's gonna limit me a little bit in my attack point, in my steps. But when I'm balanced right here, I can step here, I can step straight, I can step straight, I can step here. I'm balanced when you're head up. So this is vital. This is huge. This makes a big, big difference depending on the scheme of the defense. This makes a big difference. And sometimes this is the challenge is that the stance is not matching the scheme. Your stance has to match your scheme. Depending on what you want these dogs doing up front, the stance has to match the scheme. Sometimes it's not the scheme. The scheme is not necessarily the problem. The problem is that the stance is not matching the scheme, and so your dogs up front are not prepped to do the right thing based on the scheme. There's a difference between a read and react stance and a strike and attack stance. If your scheme calls for your guys to be more penetrators, then they need to be more in a strike and attack stance if your defense causes for your dogs to not go too far afield to shock and create a wall and sit right there at the line of scrimmage that's more of a read and react stance you understand so based on the scheme 
that's going to kind of determine where you want those guys to be. Now, you may mix and match that thing. You may have a three technique that you want to turn loose. Beautiful. He's going to have a strike and attack stance. You may have a nose technique that you just want him to punch and hold his gap and sit right there and form a wall. He's going to have a different stance. You, you understand what I'm saying, big dog? Your stance has to match your scheme. And if the scheme causes for you, big dog, to sit here, punch this guy, and two gap, then having a stagger stance may not be the best stance. If it works for you, it works for you. Football is not a one-size-fit-all deal. But what I'm telling you is, is that you want to be optimal, you want to be powerful, you want to be balanced, you want to be able to go anywhere you want to go with power, with leverage, shocking them, knocking them back, two gap here, causing havoc, dominating the trenches because you're in the proper stance, right? So that is my quick tip of the day, big dog, is that if you're in an even tech and you have to two gap, you're probably going to be better suited with a balanced stance. And that's what I'm saying. Big dog, hear what I'm saying. Try it out. It's going to make you more balanced. It's going to make you more powerful. All right, big dog, appreciate you with me with another big dog quick tip. Hey, man, let me know if these are actually helpful. You understand? I love doing them, and I'm going to continue doing them if they're helping you get better. That's what we're here for. That's what five-star lineman is here for. We don't just train guys who are five-star. We make guys who don't have no stars to become five-star. We grow them around here. We build them. We develop them. That's what we're about. We teach. We train. We mold. We strengthen and we progress. That's what five-star means. I don't care what level you're on. We're going to get you better from wherever you are. Wherever you are, we're going to meet you wherever you are to get you to be a five-star athlete. Let me know if this helped you at all in the comments. All right? And let me know if there's something you want me to talk about. Let me know. I would love to break it down. I would love to go over it any day make sure you like and subscribe big dog i'm telling you we on fire we got lots of things that's coming your way and we're all about making you the best defense alignment you can be let your friends know about our channel let people know that we're here to develop you to make you the best dog in the trenches the best pass rusher the best run stopper that you can be let them know all right big dog you know what time it is let's go to work <laughs>